Welcome to Synagogues of Florida, Part 20. We look at several more locations spread out through the state of Florida and discover their Jewish houses of worship. Our first is Temple Judea in Coral Gables. It is affiliated with Union for Reform Judaism. The congregation started out in 1946 informally meeting in homes, storefronts, and at the University of Miami Hillel Center. In 1948, the group officially formed the Coral Gables Jewish Center and officially affiliated with Reform Judaism. In 1956, it changed its name to Temple Judea. In 1966, with the help of the University of Miami, the congregation was able to procure the land and build the structures that you see here. Renovation and expansion has been accomplished through the subsequent years. Judith L. Siegel is senior rabbi. Jonathan Frisch is the assistant rabbi. More than 300 children take part in youth programs. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. Our next stop is in Key West, and it is the Chabad Jewish Center, Florida Keys, and Key West. We can't give you an adequate street view, so we're showing you an overhead shot. Its director is Rabbi Yaakov Zucker. It was founded in 1995. Besides Shabbat services, there is also a daily morning minion Monday through Friday. An afternoon evening service is held at another location on the key and needs to be confirmed on a daily basis. This Chabad location also offers a Hebrew school. There is another synagogue on the key. It is Congregation B'nai Zion and claims to be South Florida's oldest Jewish congregation, having been established in 1887. Shimon Dudai is the rabbi. The congregation met in homes until 1907 when it bought its first synagogue property. The synagogue was built in 1969 at this location. In 2002, there was an arson fire that practically left the building in ruins. In 2003, groundbreaking was done to build the new structure. Insurance paid for about half the cost. The rest was accomplished through a massive fundraising outreach to the public. The congregation practices the conservative egalitarian mode of prayer. Our next site is in Tavernier, Florida, where we look at the Keys Jewish Community Center. Services are held on Friday evenings for Shabbat. The congregation is unaffiliated with any specific branch of practice. The congregation does not list a rabbi for spiritual leader. Here is a better look at the building that houses the synagogue. We move along to Lauder Hill, Florida, and that iconic menorah structure tells you where we're at. This is the Chabad Synagogue of Inverary. It is associated with the other Chabads of the Fort Lauderdale area. It has been in existence for more than 33 years. Services are held twice a day on a daily basis. There is also a mikvah and a preschool. Have you ever heard of Mount Dora, Florida? It's in the central part of the state in Lake County and is home to the traditional congregation of Mount Dora. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi Abba Chaim. This is a millennial shul, having been founded within the past 10 years. In certain parts of the country, traditional has a specific meaning. Its post-millennial definition is one that is in practice very much like an Orthodox congregation as to prayer book used and the content of the services, except that men and women are permitted to sit together and a microphone is also used on Shabbat. But women are not permitted to lead any of the services. It appears that at this particular synagogue, the men and women do sit separately, but women are permitted to engage in various aspects of the service. In addition, the rules established at service attendance seem somewhat dogmatic, but as they say, to each his own. Ponte Verde, Florida has a couple Jewish houses of worship. This first one is Chabad at the Beaches. 
Rabbi Nachum Korinsky is director, and Rabbi Eli Wolanski is program director. Shabbat services are held Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. Weekday minyanim are directed to another Chabad location. This location maintains a Hebrew school. The other synagogue in Ponte Vedra Beach is Beth El, the Beaches Synagogue. The congregation was founded in the early 1990s. It has Shabbat services both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi Michael Matusin, and the congregation aligns with the Reform Movement. The final location on this tour takes us to Satellite Beach and the home to Chabad of the Space and Treasure Coasts. Rabbi Tzvi Konikov is director. It has a preschool and a Hebrew school. Services are Friday evenings and Saturday mornings for Shabbat. As we end this particular trip to visiting synagogues in Florida, we thought we'd give you a taste for how one small house of the Lord is just one of many gracing the state of Florida. There is still one final visit of Florida synagogues to come. Bye for now. Hope to see you real soon.